in this video we will be discussing about switch statement uh, we can call it as multi branch statement also like here we are having multiple options out of multiple options uh, we can uh, what based upon the input we are providing that related option will be executed i will explain in detail before going to that uh, i will tell you uh, that there are totally uh, four keywords are going to be used for switch the first one is switch itself next case break and the default so these are the four keywords we are going to use so uh, i will show you the how the syntax will be uh, it is having the very first will be having the switch uh, keyword within that option means this is the input option whatever the input option provided by the user that option will be given here and based upon that cases will be there if your input option is one case one gets executed if your input option is two case two gets executed like that so in within the case one or case each case you can write any number of statements okay so case one and in between you need to write break everywhere at after each case you need to write break i will tell you why also why we have to go with break keyword also everywhere every case like that we will be having n number of we can have n number of cases depends upon the requirement okay so at last if none of the case is matched if none of the case is matched right so then the default case will be executed and the statements what we are writing within the default uh, case those gets executed okay so i will show you how this works okay so let us get back into the coding example uh, here let me take out uh, one option for input option i am taking integer variable here that is the very first thing we need to remember here n is the integer variable and let us provide input by writing the statement enter n and let us uh, use scanf for providing input into the variable n percentage t ampersand n okay so after that after that what i am writing look at i am going to use the syntax of switch and where you have provided the input option within n and we know that here we are that the input we are providing will be in integer form why because integer variable we have taken that's why here after writing case keyword whatever the values we have to write here that value should be of integer numbers so case 1 let me write a case 1 print f let me print hi and in between i am writing break now let me use case 2 print f let me print hello after that also uh, let me use break keyword okay as of now i am using only two cases and at last i am writing default case i am just printing print f by now let us see how this switch statement works very first input option will be provided okay if your input option is 1 if your input option is 1 then the n value 1 matches with case 1 na that's why hi will be printed after that your program stops for example if your input option is 2 for example your input option is 2 then this 2 whatever n you are providing here 2 that matches with case 2 and hello will be printed after the program closes if you are providing other than 1 or 2 no cases are there more we have so if none of the case is matched with n value then default case gets executed then by will be executed now let us see the example first of all n value i am providing 1 what is output i got it hi why i got hi why because n value 1 matches with case 1 that's why the statement written in the case 1 gets executed that's why we are getting high output suppose if you are not using break in between what happens see again i am giving the option one only now see i am getting high hello actually what is the thing i have to get only high why because one option you have given should be matched with case one only high will be printed high should be printed but you are getting hello also why you are getting in between uh, hello also because we have not kept 
break. That's why it is compulsory for us to put break keyword in between. Okay. So this is simple. Uh, now let me give uh, one more option. N value 5 I have given or 6 I have given. I am getting by. Why? Because the 6 option what I have provided matches with none of the cases. That's why at last which case is there if no case matches the default gets. What is the thing available in the default case? By. That is getting executed. So this is the simple example. Like this I, we can uh, display the days or anything. For example, if your uh, case is 1, let me print Sunday. Means if your option is 1, I should get output Sunday. If your option is 2, I should get Monday. If your option is, let me continue like this. Let me add cases. Case 3. And if case number 3 is entered, then I should get the output Tuesday. Now for case 4, if option 4 is given, I should get Wednesday. What is the case 1 Sunday, case 2 Monday, case 3 Tuesday, case 4 Wednesday. Case 5, case 5, let me write Thursday. Similarly, case 6 also I am writing, case 6 and the statement is printing Friday and one more I am adding, why because total is 7 days in a week, let's just say I am using 7 cases, okay. So Saturday, so here uh, if none of the 7 options match, it means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, other to that we are input is provided. I should get incorrect option. What is the output? I should get incorrect value, input or anything you can write there. Now see, look at the code. Look at the code. Here, very first we are providing n value. Depends upon the n value. If n value is 1, we will get Sunday. n value is 2, we will get Monday. n value is 3, we will get Tuesday. n value is 4, we get Wednesday. n value is 5, we get Thursday. n value is 6, we get Friday. n value is 7, we get Saturday. Other than that, 8 or 9 or 10, we will get output, incorrect input is the result we are going to get. Okay. See here. Let me enter the option 1. If option 1 is given, what is the output I should get? Sunday. As per the code also, if your input option is 1, that will be matched with case 1, you will get Sunday. Like that. So, th that is what we have got here. Now, I am entering, I am entering other option between, not in between. 1 and 7. I am giving 12. What is the output? I got it. Incorrect input. Why I am getting incorrect input is 12 option is not going to match with case 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 12, no? none of the cases matching with 12. Okay, that's why default get, get, gets executed. And where what we have written? Incorrect input or incorrect option. Any message you can provide here. This is regarding integers. Here, the case values can be characters also. I will tell you why. What? For example, let me instead of n, let me use char. And how to provide instead of percentage c, percentage d, I have to write percentage c. Now, your input options will be in character form. No? For example, for example, if your input option is capital A, I should get the output as America. If your input option is capital B, I should get Brazil. If your input option is capital C, I should get the result Canada. If your option, if your input option is D, capital D, I am telling capital D only. If you are giving small D, na, it is not going to match. Let me use Denmark or any name. Okay, four cases I have. I am writing as of now. Uh, let me remove all these things. So, now, now here have a look. Uh, the input option, if it is A, capital A, I should get the output America. If your input option is capital B, I should get output Brazil. If your input option is capital C, I should get output Canada. 
if you, our input option is capital D, we should get Denmark. Other than A, B, C, D, we should get incorrect input. Okay, let me execute. So this time, do remember we have to provide only character input. Why I have to, we have to provide character input? Have a look. We are taking input in character form. And the variable n is now this time character type. That's why char data type we are using. So now, if our input option is capital A, I should get America. Okay, so that's what we are getting. Now again, I'm executing. If our input option is capital B, we should get Brazil. We are getting. So for example, if our input option is small a, then we are getting in incorrect input. Why we are getting that? So we have given, we have given only case capital A, then only America. If small a, we are not given. If I am writing like this, I don't want to confuse you right now, but uh, like I can add this. Right. So if you write in this way, even you enter capital A or small a, you will get America. You see here. Small a this time I am taking. Again, still I got it America. So for both the options, we are getting America like that. Okay. So for similarly, we can add it for capital B also, capital C also, capital D also. Okay. Other than that, we can get the output as incorrect input. This is how we can uh, work on switch statement.